Welcome back everybody, Joe with Forged here with our fourth installment of the Shop Drag Car documentary series. What I wanted to share with you today is what we're doing with the engine. So for those of you that are close to the shop know that the engine that was in there over the past two years and uh, a little bit maybe closer to two and a half years uh, finally needed to be refreshed. We were actually at the dyno uh, testing on methanol and thought that we had lifted the heads on the motor because we were getting a coolant pressure spike on the uh, MoTeC water pressure sensor in the system. However, after further inspection, we found out that the prototype heads that we had designed almost three years ago had been ported a little bit too aggressively in the exhaust port. And after we finally cranked up enough power and exhaust back pressure we were uh, put a crack in the exhaust port on two of the runners so we were actually pressurizing the cooling system through the exhaust port and didn't lift the heads but we knew that that engine did not have all of the necessary parts in it to really be able to turn it up at least based off of our experience with doing dozens and dozens of these engines at various power levels we've found that we need to upgrade quite a few things to make them reliable and hold the power. All right, let's start off by taking a look at the short block. So as you can see, we are one of the shops that uses a billet girdle. I know there's a lot of controversy in the GTR community as to whether or not the billet girdles are worth the investment or if it's just people trying to sell parts. Well, what we found is that the billet girdle gives us the ability to do a couple different things. One, it allows us to easily machine it for the larger main studs. If you've uh, had standard studs in a block, those things are about half the size of those things. Not, no, not really. I think it goes from an 11 millimeter to a 12 millimeter stud. And even more importantly, it allows us to hone the main line to a specific bore diameter that we want. We found that when we're trying to machine the OEM girdle, sometimes it's hard to achieve the specific diameter in the bore that we're looking for. As you can see, we are running a Bryant crank with the extended snout, aluminum rods, and a custom piston in our sleeved four liter block. So it's not a stroker, but it is a four liter with a 98 millimeter bore. All right, now we'll take a look at the top side of the engine. This is our new revised version 2.0 cylinder heads that we've been working on. You know, my earlier comments there with the exhaust ports being a little bit too aggressive in certain areas, we you know, learned our lesson there and took a little bit less out of the port. There's a couple th theories of thought here with port design and combustion chamber design, but we've been working with some pretty talented people in the industry. Uh, one guy actually formerly on a Formula One team did some uh, flow work for us. We run a Tomei camshaft on the bigger power cars at a 282 duration. We're looking at a few different custom cam profiles, but these have worked out for us. And to be honest, we don't have enough time to change too many things on the setup before we leave for Texas in just about two weeks' time. Run all Freya valve train and GSC springs retainers. Absolutely, there's a lot of secret sauce that goes into the short blocks with clearances and the heads with the flow numbers and everything. So I'm not going to give away all of our secrets, but uh, that's just a little bit of an insight into what we're running in my race car. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.